Hello dear traders, I'm Anna Kasatkin and you're watching the latest financial calendar on Insta TV. During the latter half of the week there will be the following important macroeconomic releases. Thus, Australia will unveil its August unemployment rate data. The indicator is seen to have declined to 6.3%. In July, the Australian seasonally adjusted jobless rate grew to 6.4%, rising to a 10-year high. Experts had anticipated that the indicator would be unchanged at 6% from June. The Australian economy had lost 300 jobs versus the forecasts, suggesting growth. July 2014 saw the participation rate increase by 0.1 percentage points to 64%. 0.8%. Moreover, the U.S. initial jobless claims report for September is due for release on Thursday. Economists say the indicator is to come in at 306,000. In the week ending on the 30th of August, the number of people who filed for unemployment assistance in the U.S. increased slightly, topping experts' forecast, but remaining near this year low. This signals stability in the U.S. labor market. The figure for seasonally adjusted initial claims was 302,000, while experts had said it was to come in at 298,000. The preceding week's level was unrevised. It is important to mention that initial unemployment claims fell to a 2014 low of 279,000 in mid-July and has been hovering around 300,000 since then. The last time this happened in early 2006 at the Summit of Economic Expansion. On Saturday, China will unveil its August industrial production report. According to forecasts, the indicator's growth has slowed down to 8.8 percent. In the previous month, the Chinese industrial output grew by 9 percent on a yearly basis, slightly below the 9.2 percent increase recorded in June. Grouped by different sectors, 39 out of 41 industries kept year-on-year -year growth. The fastest growth was recorded in non-ferrous metals, automobile, general purpose machinery and chemical industries. The report also showed a 3.7% annual increase in steel production in July, despite governmental efforts to reduce overproduction. In addition to the events mentioned, there also will be the following data releases. Thus, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand will announce its September interest rate decision on Thursday. China will disclose its August inflation report. On Friday, the head of the Bank of Japan will speak. Moreover, the Eurogroup meeting will take place. The U.S. will provide two important reports, retail sales and consumer sentiment by the University of Michigan. And this concludes the latest calendar of financial events prepared for you by our InstaForex team. See you next week. Bye.